North Korea has sanctions imposed by UN a bid to stop regime petrol supply and ballistic missile tests. The UN voted unanimously to limit North Korea's access to refined petroleum products and crude oil and the sanctions would also ban the regime from exporting food, agricultural products, minerals machinery and electrical equipment. The United States is heading the campaign to pressure Pyongyang into abandoning its nuclear weapons and missile programs. North Korea has claimed that the whole of the United States is within its reach of a missile attack. It is hoped that the sanctions restricting oil imports will starve North Korea of fuel and income for its weapons programs. The UN wants to ban almost 90% of refined petroleum exports to North Korea by capping them at 500,000 barrels a year and has demanded the repatriation of North Koreans working abroad within 24 months. Tension have been brewing over North Korea's nuclear and missile programs. In November, the secretive nations demanded a stop to what they described as brutal sanctions. Although the U.S. wants to reach a diplomatic solution to the crisis, they hope that the sanctions will increase pressure on Kim Jong-un. The U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, Nikki Haley, said, it sends the unambiguous message to Pyongyang that further defiance will invite further punishments and isolation. While Hei Tao, China's deputy U.N. ambassador, said tensions on the Korean peninsula risk spiraling out of control and he repeated Beijing's call for talks. South Korea has welcomed the sanctions and called on the North to immediately cease reckless provocations and take the path of dialogue for denuclearization. President Donald Trump hopes that pursuing a maximum pressure campaign will urge Mr. Kim to come to the negotiating table. The White House National Security